Hi, welcome to Budget TV. My name is Fabrizio Sapoli. I'm your trusted aviation advisor. And today we're going to be talking about the rise of the small private jets, which is an interesting trend that's happening in the market. So we'll get into that. But before we get into that, I just want to announce that I'm going to be one of the speakers at the Recovery in Aviation Virtual Summit 2020. It's going to be held from the 20. Uh, 5th to the 27th of August. It's virtual, it's online. I encourage you to sign up. You can click on the link below. It's not only myself, a number of speakers have been lined up for this very interesting event. Uh, we are going to be broadcasting my interview live here on BizJet TV and across a number of other social media platforms. So it's very, very interesting. So if you want to find out you know, what's going to be happening in aviation uh, in the future and you know different techniques, or whether you're in the aviation industry, I'm sure this will be of value to you. If you are also looking into private jet ownership and that, it will also be of value too. So I encourage you to sign up to the 2020 Recovery in Aviation Virtual Summit. Click on the link below, but also if you haven't done so, I encourage you to subscribe to BizJet TV. Uh, comment below after this episode and give us a thumbs up, which helps us get the channel out there. And let's get straight into today's episode all about small private jets and the rise of these incredible business machines. Off we go. We see, are seeing the rise of the small private jets, and we're going to sort of look at an analysis today of why this is happening. But before we get into the why, let's just look at the snapshot of what's going on in the market at the moment. Now, of course, because of lockdown, you know, people haven't been flying as much. But if we look at the small jet market, small jets account uh, for 39% of the world's business jet fleet. Now, um, but in July 2020, uh, the small jet segment accounted for 44% of private jet sales. So that's on the sell front of private jets. If we look at the activity of the actual flying that's going on, uh, snapshot July 2020, we see that small jet flying, small jets flying around are down by 23% compared to last year. The medium jets are down by 42% compared to last year and the large jets are down by 45% compared to last year. So we noticed that we are seeing this trend of smaller jets doing more flying and also smaller jets capturing more of the market. So what's that telling us? That's telling us that more people now are buying smaller jets. Now that doesn't mean that people that have the large jet are selling the large jet to buy the small jet. What we are seeing and talking to a number of the charter companies out there and experiencing also it's charter broken up doing myself, um, what's been happening is there's more and more new people coming into the private jet market and the way they get their feet wet and you may be one of them is they charter a private jet um, and they experience the private jet for the first time on a charter and then they start looking into private jet ownership or private aircraft ownership. I mean you could go out there and buy a Pilatus PC-12 which is a single engine turboprop which carries quite a few people, eight people with some cargo, it's got a nice cargo door, uh, that's an option out there. Um, you can buy a King Air, which is a twin engine. You can buy, you know, CJ1, CJ2, CJ3, or Phenom 100, uh, Citation XLS. These are all airplanes which are in that category that, that we're talking about. Airplanes that fly up to about 2,000 nautical mile range. So why are we seeing more businesses looking into this? Well, we know that a lot of airlines have failed. Other airlines have decided to reduce the number of flights they're doing, scrap some of the routes or the frequency on certain routes. So finding... Um, you know, a, a flight that goes on a certain day that can take you out and bring you back the same, same day is getting more and more difficult. Add the fact that, you know, you can catch a virus. Add to that the fact that, you know, getting into an airport today um, and getting to the gate. I mean, I mentioned this on another video uh, a, a few months ago where somebody at Manchester Airport in the UK from the car park to the gate took them five hours. Um, and who knows how long it took them when they got <laughs> to the other end. So if you're going to be flying, I don't know, from let's say San Diego to Las Vegas for a business trip in the morning, back in the evening, um, you know, those short flights, the last thing you want to do is to be sat in the airport for five hours before you actually get on the flight. So what we're seeing now is more companies are looking into private jet travel, in particular for short hops, um, hops where you can go in and out uh, same day, maybe visit three different locations. Um, more companies are looking to say, well, if we can put six of our executives on 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 a, on a small jet 
and get them over to Las Vegas and then over to Reno and then back same day or maybe out of London into Milan then over up into uh, Dusseldorf and then from Dusseldorf back to to London same day you know this is the kind of thing that people are starting to look at because they're realizing that the private jet is a business and people have been looking into it because of the virus and then they're discovering that the private jet is a business tool that can really be an effective way of traveling from A to B to C to D. So this is what's actually happening in the market. So if you are a business person and you're watching this and you're thinking about purchasing a private jet or leasing a private jet, um, feel free to contact me. We can do a one-to-one -one consultation and go into the specifics about your business and what you're, you're, you're looking to achieve and see how you can use a private aircraft I use the word aircraft because the turboprops are there as well. How you can use a private aircraft to grow your business. Because it is a business, but you, but you really need to get your head around it, which is why you need to get professional advice. So we are seeing a rise of the small jets. Also because uh, businesses, some businesses have decided to sort of go more local. And, you know, uh, President Trump of the United States is now rewarding those companies that are bringing manufacturing back to the United States from places like China. Um, and making things more local and also people are starting to think of well you know if, if I could produce my goods locally if there is another lockdown it's easier to get the stuff to my customers um, and so that's what we're seeing but you know I do also predict there will be uh, you know a, a surge in people buying larger jets it's just that you know the smaller jets is where most people come into the market um, and of course if you're going to you know, I don't know, going from London to Singapore, for example, it is a long flight anyway. So if you have to spend four or five hours in the airport, um, fine. And you're probably not going to get off the airplane on the other end and in straight into a meeting. So, you know, those five hours in the airport uh, sitting around are not going to affect you as much as the person that needs to go on the short flight in and out quickly, um, you know, from Los Angeles over to, I don't know, Dallas into a meeting and then back same day. Um, so that's what we're seeing right now. The rise of the small jets, market's starting to move. Um, so, you know, it's certainly we're going to see more companies start using the private jet, uh, the smaller jets to as a business tool to make money. And then I think these companies will then gradually grow into, you know, the larger jets as well. So that's interesting to see this happening. Um, I'd like to invite you to comment below. I'd like to hear what you think about what's happening and the economy and the lockdown and coming up lockdown and the opportunities that are arising because of all this that's been happening over the last few months. A bit of a manic period for everybody, I guess. And also, if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And again, if you want to contact me, you can ping me below it's my email. And the other thing I'd like to talk to you about is something that's coming up. I'm going to be doing a live stream uh, coming up um, on the 26th of August, which is a Wednesday. I'm part of the 2020 Recovery in Aviation Virtual Summit. Uh, this is something I encourage you to look into. Um, you can click on the link below. You can sign up for this. Uh, I'm not the only speaker. There's a number of speakers. and I'm going to be interviewed for half an hour. And then there's an opportunity to uh, ask me live questions uh, for 15 minutes. And the same with all the other speakers. So we've got some, uh, some interesting people lined up. So click on the link below to sign up for the 2020 Recovery in Aviation Virtual Summit. If you can't watch the live stream, which will be broadcast here on BizJet TV Live, you can also go in after the event and um, you know sign up to uh, watch all the speakers and get PDF version of, of, of their, their interviews and things like that. So it's a great lineup of speakers. Lots of people already signed up. Over 10,000 people worldwide have signed up this uh, Recovery in Aviation Virtual Summit. So I encourage you to do that. And, and again, if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, do so. And that's all from Fabrizio Poli on BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.